Matthew, the 20th chapter, verse number 10. But when the first came, and they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny, and when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house, saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them, and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Did not thou grieve with me a penny? Take that thine is, and go thy way, and I will give unto the last even unto thee. It is not lawful for me to do what I will with my own. Is thine I evil because I am good? For the last shall be first, and the first last. For many are called, but few are chosen. And the reason why I'm reading Matthew, the 20th chapter, is because I want to give an illustration of many people that think that you are saved, Lord to God, you're better somebody that's been saved for a short time and you've been saved for a long time. It doesn't matter, my friend. Let the last be first and the first be last. God, Lord to God, is telling you, give you instruction, don't boast of the length of time you were saved and look down on a person just a babe. Hey, Lord to God, what I'm saying to you, my friend, we are not measured by the length, glory to God. We are not me measured by the length, how long you've been saved for. You are not measured by the length of time you are saved. Hey, glory to God, what you are measured by? Ten things. You are measured by ten things. Hey, glory to God. How long you've been saved for? How long you've been saved for? You're not better than somebody that have been saved for a short time. You've been saved for 25 years. It doesn't matter. Hey, glory to God. But these things matter. Ten things. Hey, glory to God. And it's ten F's. Hey, glory to God. Are you faithful to God? Hey, glory to God. That's number one. Are you faithful to God? You've been saved for 25 years. But are you faithful to God? Number two. Hey, glory to God. Have you been forgiven? Hey, glory to God. The Bible says, confess your, your, your fault one to one another. Or confess your sin to God. Are you forgiven? So are you faithful? Hey, glory to God. Are you forgiven? Are you firm? Hey, glory to God. Are you firm in your belief about who God is? Or are you stable? Are you unshakable? Are you, glory to God, your foundation been built on a sand? Or is it built on a rock? Are you, hallelujah, firm? Hallelujah. The Bible says, glory to God, are you hot or cold? But look, oh, God will spew you out of that mouth. And the reason why I say hot, because hot means you're fire. And, and cold means you are firm. Hey, go to God. Number fourth reason, do you have the fire of the Holy Ghost? Yes, do you have the fire? Because a lot of people, my friend, they say they have the fire, but they're still in sin. Hey, go to God. Because the fire burn out sin. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. No five reason. Do you do you put God first and foremost? Hey, glory to God. You ask God, God, is it your will? Hey, or oh, you, you just go ahead and do it. Because we are not, we don't belong to ourselves. We belong to God. So David said, Lord, should I fight the Philistine? And God said, go. So David always asks God, do you always ask God, is it your will? Let thy will be done. Hey, Lord. Six, my friend, do you have the fruit of the Spirit? There are nine fruit of the Spirit. Do you have love? Do you have joy? Do you have peace? Do you, hallelujah, do you have goodness? Do you have meekness? Do you have gentleness? Glory to God. Do you have temperance? Do you have self-control? Hey, glory to God. Against such there is no law. Do you have the fruit? Of the spirit because if you don't have the fruit of the spirit you don't have love you don't have the holy ghost because the holy ghost come with nine fruit which is your characteristic of being a christian hey glory to god i'm talking about the, the nine 
the 10 F's, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah, my friend. Are you faithful to God? Hey, glory to God. Have you, have you forgiven by God? Are you firm in God? Hey, glory to God. Do you have the fire of God? Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And my friend, do you have the fruit of the Spirit? And number seven reason, are you fighting the good fight of faith? Hey, glory to God. I can spiritual a little wickedness in high places. Or do you have faith in God? Or are you faking it? Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you have faith or are you faking it? Because if you have faith in God, faith move mountain. But if you're faking it, my friend, you can't move nothing at all. Number nine reason, are you a fan? What is a fan? A fan is a person that cheer Jesus on, but never participate, glory to God, according, glory to God, of being a Christian. You never participate in nothing. You're not on a choir, glory to God, you're not an usher, glory to God, you're not a, you're not a, a treasurer, you're not, you're not, you're not doing nothing but but sitting on a pew. You are pew warmer. You've been saved for 25 years and you ain't doing nothing in the kingdom of God. I'm telling you, my friend, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's not the length of time been saved, but are you saved? So are you a fan? The fan was people, glory to God, in, in St. John 6, chapter, verse 6, 6. The Bible said many of the disciples went back. Hey, glory to God. And then number 10, right? Are you a follower of Jesus? A follower of Jesus is a person is baptized in the wonderful name, a person that filled with the Holy Ghost, a person that accepts the invitation of being a Christian. So my question to you, my friend, is not the length of time been saved, is are you saved? A lot of people in church ain't saved. Hey, glory to God. And you've been saved for 20, you say you've been saved for 25 years and they no fruit. They no fruit. The Bible says, he that with his soul is wise. So they was complaining. They've been working an hour and a person that been working just a less than an hour, they get the same pay. And they start complaining and murmuring about the vineyard keeper. But God say, glory to God, you are greed. Hey, that's why I'm, I'm telling you, we got to be very careful how we sign contracts. Are you signing contract to the devil or are you signing a contract for God? Because the Bible says we are bought with a price. So it's not the length of time you save. It's are you saved? Are you faithful to God? Have you forgiven for God? Are you firm? Are you a fan or are you a follower? Do you have the faith of God? Do you have the fire? Hey, hallelujah, glory to God. The fire burns sin. The fire means you're affected. You're not just a pure woman. You are doing the will of God. And the will don't stop by, behind. It stop. It go beyond the, the four walls of the church. Are you witnessing for Jesus? I know you hold a title, but are you affected in the word of God? Hey, glory to God, are you a witness for Jesus? The Bible says, glory to God, he that winneth soul is wise. If Jesus Christ be lifted up from the earth, he'll draw all men unto Christ. Paul said, when I preach to other, I make myself a cast away. Hey, glory to God. So it's not how long you've been saved for, but are you affected in the time you've been saved? Because you're not measured by the left. You're measured by your effectiveness of being a Christian. Are you faithful to God? Do you have faith in God? Or are you a faker? In faker? Or are you a fan? Or are you a follower? Are you a fire? Are you fighting a good fight of faith? Do you have faith in God? All these things, my friend. Hallelujah. All the length of time you've been saved with God. Do you have faith in God? By now you should have strong belief in the existence of God. Are you a fan or are you a follower? There's too many fans in God's house. And a few, that's why the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. 
are you the few chosen one of God? We got to think about these things. So it's not how long you've been saved for. The question, the answer is, are you saved according to your faithfulness to God? Hey, glory to God. Your forgiveness of God, your firmness of God, your faith in God. You're not a fan, but you are a follower of God. And you got a fruit of the spirit and you're on fire for God. These are the qualifications of the time you've been saved by God. So it's not how long you've been saved for, it's are you saved? Hey, glory to God, are you saved? Are you on fire for Jesus? Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about, saints of God. It's not how long, and these men were saying, Lord, hallelujah, glory to God, saying that, that saying these these last wrought one hour, and thou hast made him equal unto us, which have borne the burden, the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Did not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is, and go thy way, and I will give unto the last, even unto thee. It is lawful for me to do what I will with my own, is than I evil, because I am good. For the last shall be first, and the first last. Many are called, but few are chosen. Are you chosen today? You've been called. But the answer is, are you chosen by God? Ten qualification of the F. My friend, these qualifications matter because you must have faith in God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It's not how long you've been saved. It's are you saved? That's the question. That's the answer. It's not how long you've been saved for. It's are you still saved? Hey, glory to God. Many are called, but few are chosen. Are you chosen or are you just called? In the name of Jesus, God bless.